So Anflox, we make motion capture clothes that let you become a virtual character. And you're wearing it. I'm wearing them. It's a shirt and pants. This is my virtual character. And as I move, he moves. <laughs> I've got sensors in my shirt and pants. It's ten total sensors. And this lets you become a character in a video game. How does it? How does it work? Are you connect? Is it wireless? Yes. So there's a Bluetooth transmitter right here in my chest and a Bluetooth transmitter in my pants. So data is collected from my arms and legs, and it's actually sent through through wiring in the clothes, and then goes right to the phone. And it works right now in on the on the uh, Vive over there, and <laughs> but on the Oculus, and you're working on how are you going to integrate with the Hololens? Oh uh, no! So the Hololens is simple. It just takes take, uh, takes in Bluetooth data. So it's like right from the shirt goes right up right up to the headset. So it's not even a challenge. It's you you. This was the challenge. You did it. And That's right. Then, now you can just hook it up to the HoloLens. That's right. So it connects to a computer, connects to a smartphone, any Bluetooth-enabled device. We just send data in there. And this was developed in uh, Unity. So awesome. everything's on the Unity game engine. And so for developers to integrate it into their games, how does that work? Uh, no, it's great. So, so you can go on our website, nfluxvr.com slash developers. You can see all the details for the Unity SDK. Mm -hmm. It's just a plug-in SDK. You take that character, he's a prefab, you drop him right into your environment. And then you can change the skin, change the mesh on him, change the texture, and make him look however you want. So aside from the obvious of uh, the obvious additional controls you can get from this motion capture, what else can it? What can it do that you're just not going to get out of, say, like uh, uh, using a connect for great, motion? Great question. So watch my arm there. We get rotational data from the arm. This is something that, that the Kinect cannot do. Another one is since the Kinect, I have to be right in front of the camera. As soon as you turn to the side, that arm would not be seen as well by the camera at all. Um, another one is multiplayer. So I can be in the same room as somebody else and being tracked at the same time. It's awesome. Yeah. So what's going on over there? It looks like a dancing game. Yeah, so this is our first HTC Vive game with NFlex. It's called Virtual Village People. <laughs> And it's like Dance Dance Revolution in VR. So you put on a shirt. Uh, we don't demo the pants at events because it's a little hard to have people put on tights. Yeah. But you put on the shirt, and then you have to match the Y, M, C, A poses. <laughs> and you get a ton of points for that. It's a really fun game. Awesome. Okay, Y, C. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, you got that. Uh, so we're shipping them to developers right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we've shipped over 50 suits to developers to integrate with games. For consumers, you can pre-order it on our website. Um, it's $349 now. And then we also have surveys. Take the surveys, simple questions, you get money off the suit, and we're trying to understand from these surveys what games consumers are actually going to want for this. Dancing games, sports games in VR, kind of multiplayer fighting games, first-person shooters. 